Hello and welcome Virgo. Welcome to your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, Virgo, we will um, divide the reading into sections. So it's a bit easier to understand, right? And we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we will then look at your emotional core. And then lastly, we will look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September 2023 for the sign of Virgo. Now, before we do all this, I want you to always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. Virgos, are you ready? Let's have a look what we got for you. Hmm. Well, the first thing I should say to you here is that we have reluctancy on your part. Um, so what the guys are saying to you is um, when it comes to your overall energy, we're in the ninth month. The ninth month is the number nine is the number of completion. So we're coming to the end of a cycle, which is also true because we're moving into the season of autumn or fall, as you guys in America say it. And therefore, what you need to do is to invite in new beginnings, because that's really what you're being asked for, is to be proactive. The issue here is that a part of you is reluctant and very likely <coughs> a tad exhausted from the energies you are living in. And yet, being proactive, invite new ideas in, uh, and, and invite in new opportunities is really what you should be doing. Now, Virgo is interesting as a sign because as a sign, you are you are not a person that breaks easily under stress. Therefore, you can take quite a lot, but it's not always helpful to be able to take an awful lot before you finally say like, ah, oh, I'm done. <laughs> and here you have the energy of the descendant. Now, in astrology, you have an ascendant. The ascendant it depends, you know, sometimes it's being looked at as the rising sign. You know, um, I always find in the astrology reports that I write, the ascendant is more like a best buddy. that is always there to, to, to steer you and push you a little bit. But rising sign feels different to me. Uh, um, on a whole, I think the, um, the, the moon sign can be a bit more meaningful to your life as just knowing where the ascendant sits. Anyway, you have the energy of the Ascendant in a roundabout way. So the Ascendant is the best body that pushes you. But the Ascendant has his work cut out. So the Ascendant has his own little helper. And that is the Descendant, which is exactly what you have here, the Descendant. And the Descendant by default, that energy, always sits in the seventh house, in the house of Libra, in the house of balance. So, what you need to also do while we are being proactive, you know, inviting new opportunities, go for the things you really want, um, is to allow yourself to reach out to others. That is really, really important here. And allow yourself to listen to energies and maybe people that come out of nowhere. Because a lot of people uh, um, are not even aware that the descendant plays any role in their astrology because we're only ever focusing on the ascendant as being the rising sign. And it's just the way it is. The descendant, because he's not um, an active energy, if that makes sense, he exists, right? And so it's important for you to then understand that this month, um, maybe third parties will will drop a line uh, uh, or, or a sentence somewhere that makes you like, oh, that makes a lot of sense to me, right? So that's what is important here. Right, when it comes to your emotional core, you are in the middle of transitions. So therefore, there is not that much advice 
for you. It's just, uh, or the advice here is, hang in there, right? So you're in the, the progress of releasing old stuff and manifesting new stuff, but you're not in a position that gives you a lot of strength and conviction. So whatever you're going through, even if you're in a relationship that really works well, now is not the time to reflect on it and then suggest a lot of changes, which is different to being the proactive part of yourself uh, that was stated in the over energy. When it comes to your emotional core, when it comes to how am I feeling inside myself, right? How happy are you? You know, is there still some pain from back in the day in me? All that kind of stuff. This is more about understanding that you are going through transitional phases. So you will come out of whatever it is that affects you. You just need more time and you need to be calm and collected until then. Okie dokie. So lastly, we already talked about the energy of Libra being present in the descendant. The outgoing energy, which is the, your opportunities, is Libra itself, is the seventh house. So when it comes to where you go from here, right? What opportunities are out there? What can I manifest that allows me to grow? And this is uh, true when it comes to where your life is heading and where your work is heading. <coughs> <coughs> and all the guides are saying is what is not advisable in the month of September is to do this make or break energy happen because that's not what it is this is the number nine months so this is the number uh, of completion we're coming to the end of cycles we're moving into autumn where by default things that are no longer for you will fall by the wayside so a lot of release is happening naturally and therefore you are not asked to um, make major changes this month okay well Virgos that's all we have and um, I see you all very, very soon. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And until I meet you again, please remember that the sun is the ruler of the day. The moon is the ruler of the night. And you are the ruler of your own destiny. All right. I need to drink some water. <laughs> see you next time.